multi-talented hey. artist, rapper, <laughs> songwriter, yes, everything, everything. We've got the black bones right here in the building. Yes, sir. We out here in these streets getting money. And trust me, you guys. About? Blackie is dripping in ice. Woo! Black Bones, how are you feeling being Man, right I'm here chill. on the Big Friday show? What go on? I'm Just chill. Us. I'm chill. Anything for my girl, Tacha. I'm chill. <laughs> You say anything for you. You're looking okay. too good. So anyways, I mean, you're here. We do everything big, big right here on the Big Friday show. So yep. we want to get some details. How did music start for you, Black Bones? And uh, then this Emeka, you say, is Emeka really your name? Yeah, yeah. I, I love Emeka, it. Emeka, Emeka must Emeka shine. It. Yes. Kele must wine. When she go down. Be like, like I spice. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. How did music start for you, Black Bones? Oh, more like it was, um, there was a, a, a young rapper on, on radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name was Lil H, mm-hmm. right? And somebody uh, kind of made uh, challenged me. I was like, all I do is criticize Nigerian rap. You know, look at this fourteen-year-old boy is rapping. He's mm-hmm. your age mate. What what are you doing about it? And I was like, this rap is not hard now. I'll go and rap now. And I went upstairs and wrote my first rap, and I came and. I loved it. Like, I loved rapping. <laughs> you I was en- like, the energy was just I was like, oh my God, I can't do this. And I just kept on doing it. I just kept on rapping. <laughs> so it, it, sh- it shocked you, basically. Black Bones, right? I've yeah. been wanting to know, how do you stay creative? Like, how do you come up with all of this crazy content ideas? And you posted something recently on Instagram. You said, I'm also a content creator. How do you yeah. do it? Like, how are you so seamless and swift with it? I think I'm just a fun guy. Generally. Naturally, you get so. I think these things come naturally. You can't, you can't force it. You can't, you can't overcackle it. Just do it. Aye, mm. no qualms, man. Yeah. You have three nominations. Yeah, at the head is. At the head is. I've like... had ten nominations, zero wins. Like <laughs> that's on some record. I, I don't know if it is, but like ten nominations, zero wins, man. I don't know. No, but this is going to be different. I have a great feeling you are winning all of your categories. Trust me, ah, Black. Amen. Amen. You don't you don't believe up. <laughs> At this point, I'm sure the awards don't really mean that much to you anymore. Nah, man. I, I I really to be honest, right? Yeah. I genuinely do not care about awards, right? All right. I think I'm one of the few people that has never celebrated the nomination or all these things. Cause to be honest, right, it's cool to give me an award and, you know, I'll be happy about it. But I feel like a plaque is more important. Like a plaque that you went gold yeah. in this country, you went this and Those are just fans and that's just love. This one is people putting people against each other. For example, um, one of the categories of the Modu Black is nominated, right? So yeah. one of us has to win Definitely. it or it might not even be either of us, right? But like... When 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 your stuff is going gold or silver, we can all go gold. True. We can all go True silver, that. right? So I don't need to beat this other guy to do anything. Exactly, just, or to be at the exactly. top. Exactly. So that's why I don't care for nominations, because you know, and nobody will ever agree. It's not like the whole world will come together and say this is who. Yeah, right you there. deserve so it. Everybody yeah. will argue, right? And yeah. to me, that's not important. You know, but What's with the plaques, nobody is, can actually question it. Exactly. If your song is global, I don't care if you give me any award mm-hmm. what what matters is the money that's coming in from the <laughs> exactly. streets exactly so you get the yeah. money is coming in and then you can sleep well knowing that you know your music reached places that Facts. there are some people in the like I saw a, a friend of mine you know Ola Dibs he, he posted something and saying that um he has he had dropped bigger songs than the songs that were nominated in the hip hop category yeah. and it's probably true do you understand but like I feel like he's seeking for validation in the wrong in the wrong place. In the wrong place. Because the real validation is knowing that your fans are writing for you. You are mm-hmm. doing shows. And they are they there are for you. Out. They ain't there. You get, like, I've done so many sold out shows in Nigeria, like thousands of people. You know, that one of the few that have done those type of shows you know, of my own. And I, I wouldn't, one nomination or one award, it's not going to tell me. It that doesn't I'm, define I'm, you. You exactly. get, I'm popping or I'm not. When I go in the streets and, you know, they're Everybody knows who Black is. I love that we're having this conversation because, you know, there have been, like, some friendly bands on Twitter. The best music video category were nominated with T.G. Omori. And there have been some bands... (laughs) That competition is still out there. Do you think you're a better video director than T.G. Omori? Hmm... The because one, I love the video you directed, you know. Like, I had to take my time to go watch the video. I'm like, let me know what these comparisons are about and the band. What would you say? So, to be honest, right, I don't think anybody is better than me at anything. Like, do you get... So, it's a very interesting question to pose. But, like, I believe that 
I'm one of the most creative human beings and if I put my mind to it, I'll be the best at any field that involves creativity. Do mm-hmm. you get so uh the answer is definitely yes. I'm better. I'm better than everybody. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I'm I'm directing I Spice video. It's about to be crazy again. It's about to, it's be, about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. <laughs> you guys will see that this guy is not playing at all. Blacky. Blacky. It's about to be coming down. Oh, and I'm not coming Your down. Your blood, they are. <laughs> so, talking about Ice Spice, yep. right? Is Ice Spice yeah. the one you've met? Be- In fact, before nah. we even get to Ice Spice, you dropped two songs. Tell us about those two songs and how it's been. What has been your reception? People crazy. really love it. What's your favorite out of the both songs? All crazy. Of that. So, there's uh, like Ice Spice, there's Bezos. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Ice Spice top 10 um, um, Spotify number eight. Uh, I think this was your fourth song that yeah, literally just got year. to top 10 yeah, yeah, this year. Uh, it's number seven, Nigeria Shazams. You get so it's only Apple where people are farming. People are farming on that platform. I'm not going to lie. Oh, so you agree people are actually people do are farm farming. To get it's their upsetting to up. me. I'm telling you, see, open your phone. Anybody that's watching this, open your phone right now. Yeah. Go and check the charts and check from number 10 to 20. Tell me if you know the songs there. <laughs> I swear on my life, you check it when you finish this thing. My song is meant to be top 10 there, but there are too many farmers. I'm top 10 in all other platforms except Apple because people have identified that Apple is the platform that has the PR. When you announce your top 10, it people ginger from Apple, right? So people are now farming on that platform. Mm. People that are not anywhere else on any platform, you see them chatting there. Top six, top and seven, And it's so upsetting. 10. And I feel like if I talk, I'm, I'm one of the few people that analyzes everything. Like when I tell you my song is popping, it's not because you I, just it's not vibes, because yeah. I feel like it. I check my numbers. I have screenshots of everything going on in this industry. I have screenshots of all the people that are number 10 today, number 150 in one day later because their farm money has finished. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm, yes. I'm telling you, like, I have all the stats right now. I, I Spice is top 10 songs doing great. in Nigeria on Facts. a legit basis. I'm going to perform. You said tomorrow. on legit basis? I'm going to perform. <laughs> Why are you tomorrow performing in tomorrow? A, in a school, um, oh, nice. And when I post the video, you guys will see it. And you'll see, ah, I oh, can't wait okay. to see everybody jamming to me, singing let it those like people no people that fam are there here. farming, let them go and do show. And have people. I just did a show in Ghana, songs. like, yesterday. <laughs> Another one tomorrow. Like I'm, I'm booked. I'm busy. If exactly. you farm and nobody hearing you, you will not be booked. <laughs> you, will you, will not be you will not be busy. booked. You will, <laughs> you not, will be not be busy. You will not be deceiving yourself and and wasting your money. So what made yeah. you want to sing Ice Spice? You met Ice Spice. You love Ice Spice. Is Ice Spice your kind of woman? What's the obsession with Ice Spice? Ice, Ice Spice. Or every lady you love is Ice Spice. Am I an Ice Spice? Right nah. Now? So it's not like an obsession. The song is not even really about Ice Spice. Yeah. The song is just about when she came out. Every time she was vibing to that Munch song, at some point she goes down yeah, and does that her that's twerks. Right. You get so that's what what is about. Like you know, I just want you know bodies to just go down and give us that little little shake. You know, mm. so the song is about you know us, you know the big boys outside, you know enjoying Dripping our life, you know, and we with bodies and stuff like that. Yeah. Are there any collaborations you're looking at, like a feature? Like who's that artist you hmm. you're not in a song with yet, but you're looking at being I in a song with? I definitely want to be. Who's that? On a song with, with Rema, man. I don't want to be on that a song would be with sick. Rema. I love Rema. Rema might be one of my favorite artists like in Nigeria's history. And how about for the girls? Who are you looking at? Uh Queen Tiwa, Iris Star, Iris really Star, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Iris Star. Oh, Thames. Ugh. I yeah. think you guys will perform magic. You have said you something Ira. about Thames on Twitter what? before. <laughs> nah, I love Thames. Everybody you have said something. Thames. Everybody loves Thames. Thames yeah, facts. Amazing. Everybody loves Thames. Amazing. So what are you currently working on that you want us to be aware of? So you I've want us to anticipate? You a want us to not have shine. Mm-hmm. night? It's going to be, I'm going to title a project called A Make Up Must Shine and it's going to come out next month. Yo. Because I'm the more, since I released this song, I realized that it's more than a line. It's an affirmation. Right? It's something that people need to realize that no matter what you do, I've seen a lot this year in the music industry, right? I don't know if people are scared of me or some something like that. I don't know. People have tried things to stop me from getting to where I am. They've done everything they want to do, mm-hmm. but a maker must shine. No matter what you try to do, every year I will come back. I will be here and, and keep I'll shining be harder. You get me? Like it's been so for four years and many more years to come. To the day I decide <laughs> that I'm not doing it again, mm-hmm. that I'll rest. It will not be because. 
my somebody music is doesn't not want popping. me no, to. Or somebody stop me from something. Not lie. A maker must shine. So from what you're saying, would you say that this year has been your most difficult year in the industry? Like or people have tried me. Successful people have tried me, industry, but like yeah. it's my most successful year so far. Like so I've had that's four great. top tens already, and mm-hmm. we're just what month is this? Is July? July. Yeah. You get there's Seventh still, month. You get there's so much more. Yeah, facts. you know to happen in the year. I know very interesting collaborations also coming out. You know, and uh, give us the deets on those. Those are the kind at of least, information that we talked want. about. Tesla boy, right? Yeah, Tesla yeah. boy is crazy, right? I don't know if you've seen the snippet. It's crazy. No, yeah, we haven't. I have. I went viral on Twitter. Yeah, the I snippet, have. right? Yeah. There. I have another one called Dolez that I want to put him on. So I want Sick. us to drop it like same time. Sick. You know, he I, drops him featuring me, me featuring him. That would be so lively. Honestly, yeah. it would be really bad having Black and Odomodo Black on a song. Yeah. On two songs. Two back, songs. To back. back to back. Having the me one. as a vicin. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're that would be your so video. sick. We're expecting your video, you know, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> cool stuff. Thank you so much, Black, yeah, for coming for on the show. Me. In like ten seconds, what do you have to say to your people listening? Uh, go stream my two pack, like Ice Spice and Bezos. Right, Bezos is Afro, uh, Afro affirmation. I spice is Afro insecurity. Afro I, that I, I, saw, I saw that list that you're referring to. God. I love you. I love you. I love yeah, thank you, you thank so you, much, you Black. Thank you for thank hopping you. on the Big Friday show. Yeah. Like, we can't wait for you to win all of your categories and come back here on Big hey, Friday. Man, yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah, would be honestly, nice. I mean, I can't wait nice. to hear what Dollars is going to sound like. Ah, you know? it's crazy. Trust me. It's That's crazy. what's up. And Tesla Boy is complete. <laughs> yeah. Cool yeah. stuff. I love you so much, Black. Thank, thank you for coming on the show. 